Hi, it's Ryan Gibbons of the Gibbons team, and I'm here with episode four of the Bergen County Real Estate Show. We're going to give you five tips to win a bidding war. Welcome to the Bergen County Real Estate Show, where the Gibbons team presents all you need to know to be an educated buyer or seller here in Bergen County. Be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with future episodes. So thanks for watching episode four of the Bergen County Real Estate Show. As promised, we're going to deliver five tips to win a bidding war. When you get into a competitive market, bidding wars are inevitable, especially when you're in the spring here in Bergen County. So you want to have the best strategy to get that house. So tip number one is have a good offer. And a good offer is not just having the right price. You can overbid everyone else, but your offer may not look as good as the other ones. How much money are you putting down? The more money that you put down, the better a buyer you look to a seller. If you're only putting a little bit down, the seller might be a little concerned that the house won't appraise and you won't be able to purchase it. When is your closing date? You want to be able to close as quickly as you can to help that seller. Or if the case is that the seller wants to close a little later, you want to be able to adapt to their needs and get a good closing date. So if you can find out what they need beforehand, when do they want to close? What exactly are they looking for in the buyer? That's going to help you when it comes time to put that offer together. Number two is have a good pre-approval. This is very important when you're looking at a bidding war. Who is your pre-approval with? Is it someone that the, the seller's agent has actually heard of? So having a good, strong pre-approval is going to help you when you're going against other offers. And another tip, it'd be getting a pre-commitment. And what that is, is going through the process, doing all of the loan paperwork before you find the house. And what, that ha what happens there is when you go to find that house and you have that house and you put the offer in, all the bank needs to do is make sure you're paying good value for the house in an appraisal, do title work and a little bit of work. And you can close a lot faster and you become a much better buyer if you have that pre-commitment. If you need a little advice on that, we can give you some information on who to contact and how that process works. Now this one can be tough if you're, if you're a home seller. Try not to be contingent on selling your home. I know it's not always possible if you have to sell that home to get the equity out to buy your next home, but that's just another step to get you to becoming a better buyer. So if you don't have to sell your home, if you can have your house sold already, or if a lender will allow you to purchase and then sell your home, you become a better buyer to those sellers. So try not to be contingent on any factor when you're working in a bidding war. Number four is write a letter to the homeowners. I've had great success with some of my buyers using heartfelt letters about how much they love the home, how much they always wanted to move back to that town, how they're gonna be near their parents or family or they really wanna get into that great school district. A lot of times if you have a family that's been in a home for a long time and they care for it and they care for the community, they want to see the home going to someone, maybe like them or at least someone that's going to be caring for the home and wants to stay there for a long time. It has great success and it's certainly something that you, can, you should consider. Our number five tip is something new and something that hasn't really been used very often, but it's using a video. Video is such a huge part of our lives right now. You're watching one right now, and so much of our content is becoming video. So using that same idea of the letter and doing a little video about yourself, showing your family, and talking about how much you love that house and how much you wanna be in that community and how much you love those schools can go a long way to getting your bid to the top of the list. And sometimes these things can actually outweigh someone else offering a higher number. So these are our five tips to help win a bidding war when trying to buy a home. Again, these are very prevalent here in Bergen County, especially in the springtime. So you wanna be prepared to get your offer to the top of the list. Thanks for watching this week's episode of the Bergen County Real Estate Show. The Gibbons team is committed to bringing top quality content and information to homeowners, sellers, and buyers in Bergen County so you can be an educated consumer when it comes time to buy or sell real estate here in Bergen County. If you know anyone who would appreciate this information, please share it with them, send it to them on social. We'd love to get this out to as many people as we can. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode. 
and we'll see you in the next video.